You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a familiar face on Greater Brockton. I have Gary Leonard. Gary, welcome. Nice to see you. Good to see you, Mark. Gary, you always have a, a different hat on. Every time I talk to you, you're, 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 you're doing this volunteer project, that volunteer project. You've done yeoman's work with the Campello Business Association with the city of Brockton. What do you have in store for us today? Well, um, I want to announce uh, something that's been kept kind of a secret here in the city of Brockton. It's one of the biggest economic development programs that is going on here in the city, and that's the new um, uh, Brockton uh, Deaconess uh, Signature Healthcare uh, Deaconess uh, Cancer Center that's located up on Libby Street up at the Brockton Hospital. Um, the building had its grand opening yesterday, mm -hmm. and uh, we had over a thousand people in attendance, and they got a chance to tour the brand new building. Now, of course, um, I'm 63 years old, and I'm kind of old to be the poster child for uh, the cancer center, but here I be and here I am. So uh, as the poster child, I am uh, throwing a hungry person's dinner mm -hmm. on October 19th, and that is gonna be held at the perfect place, uh, which is located at 2039 uh, Main Street, which is the Kmart Plaza. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a hungry person's dinner at $100 per person. And we have all kind of prizes that have been donated to raffle off at this event. Uh, the cocktails will start from 6 to 7, and then we'll have a full dinner, and the uh, raffles and entertainment will proceed after that. Uh, we have a lot of people from the Stacey Adams Art and Cultural Center coming to perform. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people don't know that we have a lot of art and cultural things going on here in the city, and the performers at this one location at 33 Dover Street has an abundance of talent that is uh, willing to come over and donate their time uh, knowing that we have that brand new cancer center and needs the money to pay that note that we had <laughs> that we just erected. And if you weren't one of those thousand people, you'll get to see it on Brockton Community Access because our own Jay Miller went over there and got video of the event. Um, it's wonderful to have a, can a true cancer center in the city of Brockton. Um, Signature is a nonprofit. It is. Okay. Yes. Steward, the other hospital, is a for profit these uh, days. For a bigger and profit, Deaconess, yes. which is renowned from Boston has come to Brockton. So now you don't have to get in a car and you don't have to go to Boston. And having gone through um, all sorts of cancer treatment with my father who, who just passed, I know how hard it is to go further away. Dad wanted to do everything local. We did all of it at Good Samaritan because there was no Deaconess there signature was not, at the time. No. Yeah. So, um, but and I know the feeling too well because, of course, I went through it ten years ago, mm -hmm. and um, I did all my radiation chemotherapy here. But uh, they deemed me terminal here, uh, not having the facility that we have now. And uh, I went into Boston uh, on a reference of two good friends of mine, Goody Petronelli and uh, um, uh, Pitt Perrin. Yeah. And they took me into the Faulkner and then to the Brigham and Women's, and they felt that I had a 5% chance. So I took the 5% chance, and after they did the surgery on me, after 14 and a half hours, um, I had to go into Boston almost every single day uh, after my stint in there for 13 days. Uh, there's no place to pull over in the Abba way. No. And no. after you get your treatments and after you get uh, out of the um, Brigham and Women's, which I stayed, and had to keep going back to, um, you weren't feeling too good when you right. arrived. Right. Um, so therefore, um, uh, I'm disappointed that there wasn't a cancer center here 10 years ago, but I'm very happy to announce that uh, we do now have one and it's fully uh, um, operational and uh, we're getting ready to rock and roll at any time. So if anybody has any problems, and this disease has hit every family that I know, uh, including yours and mine, Mark, um, and uh, I'm looking for an outpouring of support for this hospital. We need to keep it going. We have a lot of advocacy groups that are here to not just treat the patient, but also to treat the patient's family. Mm -hmm. um, everybody forgets about the family, the people who love the ones that it's going through. And it's very traumatic for a lot of these young kids that are between the ages of 8 and 16 to comprehend that they could lose a loved one their parents, mm -hmm. grandparents, or whoever it is. So we have a mentoring group. Um, we have a bunch of volunteers that uh, would uh, transport um, children to school, back to school, mentor these children, clothing, uh, medication, uh, whatever their needs are to the family, we're here to support. And again, we have our uh, support advocacy also for the patients themselves. So 
We're in full force here in the city of Brockton. We're ready to rock and roll. If you do have a problem, or if you have somebody that does have a problem, you could suggest that they go through our cancer center here. Uh, Dr. Freder is uh, uh, an excellent oncologist, and he knows everything there is about this facility. So please, um, pick up the phone. You can call me, 508-802-2315. I'll be more than happy to do, refer you to anybody, uh, depending on your need. Uh, but again, please take advantage of this. This yeah. is something that everybody should know. Remember, it's not just Brockton. It's about the whole South Shore. Right. If you if you drive out of Brockton and you're coming here from the Hanson, the Whitman, all that side, you see the hospital signs that direct you right over there. And and Brockton is a hub. Always has been a hub. We've had good hospitals over the course of time. They might have had different names. They might have had different affiliations. But uh, my dad didn't want to go out of town. The, the only thing we even considered at the time was uh, Dana Fiber over at South Shore Hospital. Yes. But even logistically, that would have been difficult. We had some caregivers that helped us. So they'd get them there, I'd meet them there, or I'd bring them home. He luckily didn't have the nausea and all the stuff. Dad didn't have a lot of side effects, but a lot of people do. And you're right about the families, Gary. I mean, I went through this with Dad. I'd do it again in a heartbeat sure. if I had to do it again but it takes its toll, it, it wears you down. And finally he decided, I don't wanna do this anymore, I don't want anymore, but he was 90 years old. So someone that has kids that are five or six years old, or look at you defy the odds, you don't look worse for wear at this point, you just gave your age at the beginning. Then, you lost some weight, that's, that, that's a, that's a you, good Mark. thing. Thank you, Mark, some weight, okay. you're very kind. Okay, <laughs> but um, you know, basically, you know, for people that have been through this, to have something on the local level, I know, so many different people. And is this every different type of cancer? Is it's it every different kind of cancer that you can think of. Right. Like I said, we brought Boston to Brockton. Mm -hmm. uh, the um, Harvard University supplies us with the informational and also the personnel okay. uh, to come out here. And uh, they're very, very good at what they do. And uh, you can look up any one of these doctors on the internet and see their uh, history of what they've done in the past, and they all are recognizable. We're going to talk to them. We're going to do some programming. Again, they're a nonprofit. We're a nonprofit. We promote nonprofits. We don't have a health show these days, so we're going to work on one. Okay, absolutely. But you're working on a good event. And just to recap, it's a hundred hungry persons dinner. Yes. No, no sexism here. You can't call it a hungry man's dinner anymore, like it used to be at Rotary in the day. It's Thursday. October 19th, 7 o'clock at the Perfect Place, which is over in Kmart Plaza. And yes. for those of you old timers like me, it was Siciliano's back in the day. Okay, and it's to benefit Signature Deaconess Cancer Treatment Center. That is correct. That so, is correct. And again, I, I would like an outpouring uh, of support for this, uh, just to show the doctors that are out here from uh, Boston exactly how we appreciate them coming out here uh, to uh, express their talents and take care of us here in the South Shore. Thanks for keeping us informed. Thanks for letting me know about Mark, it. thank you so much. I appreciate it. And again, thank you for having me on your show. Absolutely. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.